In New York, on the 10th anniversary of the Gujarat riots, a group of over 40 community-based Indian-American civil liberty groups came together to demand accountability and justice for the victims. Invoking Gandhi's name, they gathered to remember those who died 10 years ago in the Gujarat riots. Any time that any member of any religious community is subjected to persecution and certainly genocide, then that is a call on all of us in all religious communities in every nation to stand up, to bear witness and to demand justice for those people. Their demands, justice and reparation for the victims and the arrest of Gujarat Chief Minister who has been accused of failing to do enough to prevent the attacks on Muslims. Any time injustice is, is um, perpetrated in the name of faith, we want people of faith, including Hindus, to say not in our name. In 2005, the same groups had campaigned successfully to get the U.S. State Department to refuse Narendra Modi a visitor's visa and to revoke his diplomatic visa. Now, their resolve is further strengthened by a resolution introduced in the U.S. House of Representatives on Friday that urges the Gujarat government to restore religious freedom in the state. The Indian state, the people of India, various groupings in India need to recognize that there's a global concern around it. And that is what this rally as well as the resolution um, signifies. The resolution reiterates the State Department's view that the Narendra Modi government in Gujarat has not adequately pursued justice for the victims of the 2002 violence. With Sarah Jacob in New York, in New Delhi, Sanjuk Takar for NDTV. The NDTV news app had redefined the entire genre. Now, another market beater. It's already hit number one. NDTV Profit, India's number one finance app. Download free at ndtvprofit.com slash apps. Live stream of NDTV Profit, market news and your easy to manage portfolio. Download now, ndtvprofit.com slash apps.